So you beautiful people tracking, welcome back to the channel. Now, a few of you guys have been asking me, what do I believe are the top tier weapons for Call of Duty Warzone in season five? And that's exactly what this video is going to be today. It's going to be a bit more of a no nonsense approach. Uh, so it's going to be short, sweet and to the point. Now, this is going to be number five, which is the MP5 at that. Now, there's a reason why I've chose this weapon to be uh, in this particular position. And that is because it's a situation situational type of weapon the, the more dominant weapons in this game because of the types of range of combat which you are going to engage in most of the time are going to be assault rifles and lmgs i feel like uh, the smgs and sniper rifles are more niche weapons and are utilized in only certain aspects of the game and that's why i've, I've i'm more focused on lmgs and assault rifles in this game but this particular spot, spot number five is going to go to the mp5 as it's a very versatile weapon when it comes to the close quarters combat and this is the smg that everyone tends to marry if they are running overkill they'll either run a sniper but most people who are very aggressive and want high kill games will go for the mp5 so what are we running on the mp5 well we're going to have the monolithic suppressor which is it's non-negotiable however a lot of people seem to put the monolithic suppressor then another barrel on the mp5 when this is the better and most dominant one that you should be using the integral suppressor the monolithic one we use the tack laser to get down our sights a lot quicker but also to give us more stabilization with the weapon when firing the collapsible stop because we want this to be a very fast paced close quarters combat weapon so if you do want to ads you still strafe very quickly and make yourself very hard to hit for enemies who are trying to combat you in close quarters situations then we're going to want the 45 round mags uh, this alleviates us having to reload so often so we don't have to use the sleight of hand perk and then finally we're going to use the merc foregrip which is my favorite foregrip in the entire game and it's been proven to active reduce vertical recoil better than any other grip in this particular game so moving on swiftly we are going to go into the m4 now i if you follow me for any period of time you will know that i detested this weapon and tried my best not to use it because it's been the meta in call of duty warzone and modern warfare since the inception of both games it's just been an ever popular gun which i for, for a long period of time it needed several nerfs and it has had nerfs in the past however it still is an absolute beast of a weapon the only problem that has happened with this is because of guns like the gra uh, the meta changing with the bruin because of big streamers like nick Merckx, a lot of people have seemed to have forgot about the m4 and it is still a very very good gun to use so what do i tend to use on it now the monolithic suppressor is going to be on every single gun in this video between the Corvus and the Grenadier it is entirely up to you uh, the Corvus is on this particular weapon because I like yellow yellow is my favorite color and I didn't want to take away from that and I can utilize both barrels uh, just as effectively as the others so feel free to swap this out for the Grenadier if that's what you want to use I've used the Forge Tac close quarters uh, stuck on this particular weapon and then the 60 round magazines and the Ranger foregrip yes i love the merc but again this range of foregrip is not a bad foregrip and it keeps in with the, the the look of this weapon so that's more the reason why i'm using it but it does give you that additional bit of range that you might be lacking if you don't choose the grenadier barrel so that's what i would put on uh, if you're using the, Cor the Corvus, if you are using the Grenadier, then I would use the Merc foregrip on the M4. Coming in at number three is a weapon that you guys probably wouldn't expect on this particular list as it's a big hefty LMG. And this is the new daddy LMG in town. It's the PKM. Now, the PKM recently had just a little bit of love given by Infinity Ward where they made it faster to ADS and the movement speed was slightly increased also from from memory don't quote me on that second part there but it was definitely improved that's what i'm trying to get across to you guys and with this it is now a very viable weapon in call of duty warzone in fact it was always viable but the bruin just outshone it just that little more but with the bruin being severely nerfed in the last few weeks i don't believe that's now a top five weapon i think the 
PKM has definitely taken over in that particular aspect. So what do we equip this weapon with? Well, as you know, monolithic suppressor. We'll skip that one quickly. I like to use the heavy barrel because this is a... A, a, a perfect medium between uh, the other two barrels that you can equip to the extended which is quite cumbersome when you put this on the weapon and then the compact is going to quite drastically reduce your range in terms of bullet velocity also so heavy barrel then we're going to put the tat laser on because again it is a lmg we want that faster ads speed but it also balances out your shots as well the ever popular vlk three times optic zoom perfect for those long range engagements and the target acquisition that you're going to need with this type of weapon and then what i would say is quite a unique attachment for this particular gun is the snatch grip which as you'll see on the screen will help with recoil control Control, but also get you down sight faster which is quite an unusual take on a foregrip in call of duty warzone but it's definitely needed because this again is a big heavy lmg and that is what i would load out my pkm in call of duty warzone so we're coming into the new meta weapons that i'm going to call them because that is literally what they are and these are basically dictated by the biggest streamers utilizing them and pretty much become meta weapons aren't they that's exactly what happened with the gra and uh, nick mercs and vicstar basically just used them and then everybody did now this is at number two for a reason and it's the ever powerful cr56 this gun is an absolute beast and it's um a weapon I've been using for a long time since it came out in season four. Really good. If you haven't got this and you want to unlock it and you're a free to play player, down in the description, you'll find a link to a video, which I will help you get this as quick as possible. It's a two shot kill in certain situations. It's an utter beast and it's basically a better va version of the AK-47 in my personal opinion. So what do we use with this one? Monolithic suppressor again. The Zodiac barrel is very important to use it's the longest barrel this is the one you want for war zone then you're going to want to put on the vlk three times optic zoom because this gun does have just a bit more recoil than the average guns that most people are used to using when we're talking about the m4s and the gras and the kilos of the game this is going to be slightly harder for you to use so that's why the vlk is very important for target acquisition and obviously to marry with that you're going to want to use the merc 4 grip because there is quite a bit of vertical recoil on this particular weapon however it is controllable and it is something that over time muscle memory you'll definitely be able to use and then it's only got a 45 round maximum capacity magazine but as i said earlier it is a two shot kill in certain situations so i'm, I'm believing this is where they try to balance this gun to a degree now the reason this is not at number one is only one reason not everybody is going to be successful with this weapon but believe me if you're very good at uh, acquiring targets uh, people like nick mercs are going to find this weapon so easy to use and it will be what i believe should be number one but just because of its uh, lack of ease of use it won't be so that's why this particular weapon is at number two so i suppose that takes us to our number one spot in this uh, video and that is going to be the ever 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 underrated kilo 141 finally this gun is getting the love it deserves i've been using this gun since the day i brought call of duty modern warfare and i found it just as good in the likes of warzone and i've always gone back to this weapon because it is consistent 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 and consistent i absolutely love it it's very easy to use uh, it does have a slightly different recoil pattern that it goes to the left hand side where almost every weapon in this game goes to the right hand side that may catch a few people off in the first instance of using it and maybe that's what turned a lot of you guys off this weapon when you first picked it up and tried it out but believe me stay persistent with it and it will reward you in every single situation it's such a good gun so monolithic suppressor has to be attached as always the Singard's arms 19.8 inch prowler barrel very important to use uh then we've got the vlk which is basically one that you can always use on any gun 
Sometimes I will switch this out for the GI Mini Reflex, depending on if I'm running a sniper rifle or not. If I'm running a sniper, then my Kilo is going to have a GI Mini Reflex because I don't need the VLK in that aspect. Then the Merc foregrip, which is just a must on this because of the recoil pattern. I personally believe this is what kind of nullifies that best and then we're going to have the 60 round magazine because this gun is fire rate is pretty decent it's, it's on the quicker side so it will deplete the ammunition in the weapon quite quickly i've called this for a while if you go down in my videos you will see that i said this weapon along with the foul may be the new meta uh, and that was at the end of season four i believe so we'll see because things are definitely shifting and we can see now we're we're in a bit of a situation with warzone where people are not quite sure what is the new meta but believe me cr56 and the kilo i called it guys there are many buttons you could hit but i like the subscribe button i'll update it to your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace